Today, for our Math Strategies video, we're going to be talking about adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Okay, so looking right here, we have a mixed number, and it's a mixed number because it has a whole number and a fraction. So 4 and 1 half would be a mixed number. Okay, we're going to learn two ways to add and subtract these mixed numbers. We're going to be writing these mixed numbers as improper fractions. Okay, and apply what we know about addition and subtraction of fractions. And then we're also going to be subtracting simply just the whole numbers and then the fractions, okay, and going from there. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So here's our first problem. Um, one and one half plus four and one half. So what we're going to do is we're going to first add up the whole numbers. So here I have one and four together, which gives me five. And then I have one half and one half together, which gives me two halves. But I know that two halves is also equal to one. So five plus one gives me six, okay? I can also check my answer by drawing this out, okay? So I'm gonna draw out one and one half. Okay, and I'm gonna color that in to show that. And the reason I broke this whole into two, okay, it's because we're working with that denominator two. If we were working with thirds, I would have broken these holes into three parts, but it's still a whole, okay? Now I'm going to draw my four holes here. Shade in my four holes. Four. So then I have my one half here that I'm going to shade into this other half. Okay. And that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Which is what our answer was. And if you'll notice this right here, we have the one half here and the one half here did make that one whole. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and look at another problem. This time we're going to be focused on subtraction. Okay. So we have three and three fourths minus two and one fourth. Okay, so we know that three minus two is gonna give us um, one. Okay, so I have that one whole. And then I know if I have three fourths and I take away one fourth, I'm gonna have two fourths or one half. Okay, so I'm also going to check my answer by my drawing over here. And you'll notice I already have three and three fourths drawn out. And so I'm just gonna X out two and one fourth, okay? So I'm going to X out two holes, okay, and then I'm going to X out one fourth. And let's see how much we have left over. So I have one hole left over, and I have one, two, two fourths, okay? So drawing it out sometimes could help you see what you're doing um, as you're subtracting these mixed numbers, okay? All right, so we are going to look at some word problems here to sort of help us, okay? Here we have, um, we have someone who has is, who is drank one and seven tenths liters of water during a bicycle race. After she finishes the race, she drank nine tenths of a liter more. How much does she drink all together, okay? So this problem is about drinking water. We know that we drank some water, we stopped and then we drank some more water. So we're adding, we're putting these things together. So we will be adding here. Um, we know we have one and seven tenths and we have nine tenths. And when I think about that, if I add up these fractions, it's gonna go over a whole, okay? And again, I'm trying to figure out how much all together. Okay, so to, in order to solve this particular one, I'm going to turn these into improper fractions and kind of show you how I do that. So let's take a look at 1 and 7 tenths. Okay, well I know in order to create 1 as a fraction, I would have 10 tenths. And then I just add it with my 7 tenths, which would give me 17 tenths. Because 1 and 7 tenths is equivalent to 17 tenths. Okay, and then of course I'm just going to add my 9 tenths here, and we know that 17 and 9 is going to give me 26 tenths. So 26 tenths is what we drank all together, but I'm going to see if I can decompose 26 tenths into terms that I understand. I'm going to decompose it back into a mixed number, okay? 
So I'm going to take 26 tenths. And I know that 26 can be made up of 10, and another 10, and a 6. And the reason I chose 10 is because I have that denominator of 10, and so I know these are going to be holes. Okay, so I know I have two holes and then six tenths left over. So I know that she had two and six tenths all together. Okay, so for our last problem, again, it is subtraction. So this time our word problem is about candy. So we've bought three bags of candy and we gave two and a half to classmates. How much candy does she have left? Okay, so an easy way to solve this is to turn that three into an improper fraction. Okay, so I know that two twos plus another two twos or two halves and another two halves is going to give me my three holes. Okay, so we know that two, two, and two is going to give me six halves. Okay, and from six halves, then I could think about trying to subtract that two and one half. Okay, so let's go ahead and find what two and one half would be as a mixed number. So again, two halves plus two halves is gonna give me my whole number plus my one half, okay, which is gonna give me five halves, okay? So we have six halves minus five halves halves, and we know that 6 minus 5 is going to give me 1, and so I'm going to have 1 half left over. So she's going to have half of a bag left over. So as you begin to add and subtract mixed numbers, think about different ways that make sense to you. Think about um, changing these numbers into improper fractions, so finding those equivalents. Um, also think about um, drawing them out, okay, if that might help you.